So today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute, super full um, Minnie Mouse themed ribbon trim tutu. It's cute with cute polka dots and pink and fun and all little girls will love this. So perfect for birthday parties or just for, you know, fun dress up and everything. Um, so let me show you guys what material you guys are going to need to make this tutu. Okay, so this is all the material that you're going to need to make this tutu. You're also going to need a glue gun and a sewing machine as well. And I think I got everything, so if not, I'll mention little things throughout the video. Uh, but anyway, the, the most important things that you're going to need is also you're going, you're going to need tool off the bolt. And this one is a size, um, I'm making this one a size 12 months. So I'll put all the sizes right here on the screen. Um, and how many yards you're going to need of tool off the bolt. Um, so I got 12 yards of this hot pink tool. Well, actually, no, I take that back. I only got six yards because you get two pieces from what you cut. And so six plus six, obviously, is 12. So um, I only got six yards. It helps you save a little bit of money when you just get half of what you need because you are going to get two pieces from what you cut two separate pieces from what you cut so that way you know it just doubles it up or you can just get 12 yards and you're able to make two separate tutus um, so anyway you're also going to need uh, either like a yardstick or I guess a regular ruler works fine but I find these to be a lot easier you can get like a regular yardstick or something that measures more than just 12 inches you're also going to need ribbon and this one is 50 yards I just got this locally at one of the local stores you can get these online at uh, Gifts International. I'll put the the name of the website right here on the screen, but I'll also put it down below in the description so you guys can go check them out. This is actually gross grain ribbon. You can use any kind of ribbon, satin, gross grain, whatever you guys prefer to use. Uh, but this is polka dot because we're making a Minnie Mouse tutu. It's going to look so cute. Um, so yeah, this is 50 yards. You're only going to need, um, I think it's 24 yards. So, because you're going to need 12 for the top layer of the tutu and 12 yards for the bottom layer of the tutu. So, um, this is 50 yards, so that's more than enough right there. And um, you're going to need a regular ruler, a pair of fabric scissors, or a very sharp pair of scissors. You're going to need a safety pin, a, a quite a, a pretty large one. Don't get like a little one. Try to get one that's pretty large. This one's probably about 2 inches or so. Um, try to get as big of one as you, as you can find. This one's actually like the perfect size. You're also going to need an alligator clip, any kind of alligator clip or even like safety pins work because this is for like a certain um, part in the tutu that we're going to be making. So either this or like safety pins, I just find this one to be easier. You're also going to need a needle with embroidery floss and you're going to need non-roll elastic. This is 3 fourths of an inch wide. I like to get the non-roll because it, <laughs> excuse me, it's sturdier and uh, it works better in my opinion. So. You can just get these at Walmart, or at Hobby Lobby, wherever you choose, or any craft store, by the way. Uh, so yeah, you're also going to need a glue gun and a sewing machine, so let's get started. Okay, so I already cut this piece right here to the size that I need, so let me show you how I did that. I'm going to use this one as well as the piece that I have right here. So when you get the tool, this is tool off of a bolt, by the way. So when you get the tool, it's going to come basically like folded in half. So like you have, um, it's folded like this, and it has like a, a fold on this side over here. So what you do is you're going to roll it up. And I usually like to do this as they're cutting it, depending on where I go. As they're cutting it, I'm rolling it at the same time because sometimes they fold it all weird and then you have to come here and lay it all out and everything. So anyway, what I do is, um, this is such a small piece, I'm just going to show you on here. There's a fold on this side over here and then it's an opening on this side. Just leave it folded the way it comes. And what you're just going to do is you're just going to Take it and just fold it all the way down so you get to the end. And try to keep the edges here even with each other, if you can, as much as possible. And then just keep folding it until you get to the end. And then what I usually do on the side that has the fold, that's usually where I cut first. Um, so you're going to cut maybe about an inch or so off the edge, just to give you guys an even straight edge right there. And I'll put all the sizes on the screen of um, what size uses what length. So this is going to be a size 12 month, for a size 12 month tutu. 
and since the finished tutu is about seven inches long, you're going to double whatever the size is. So if the finished tutu is seven inches, all the sizes on the screen are going to be what the size of the finished tutu is. So this one is seven inches, so I'm going to cut 14 inches. So from seven, double from seven is obviously 14. Because when you fold it in half, it's going to make it seven inches. So go ahead and cut at the 14 inch mark or whatever mark size tutu you're making. And then this piece obviously you can just put to the side. And then you have your piece and you're ready to start sewing. So let's go ahead and go to the sewing machine. Okay, before I start, I just want to mention what sewing machine I have because I get this question all the time. This one is from Walmart. It's not that expensive. It's the Brother JX2517. And I have the tension on a 4. And then I have the stitch on a 9. So if you have this particular sewing machine, that's where you can leave the tension and the stitch or whatever you feel comfortable with. But that's what, how I usually have it while I'm sewing ribbon trim tutus. So. Let's get started on sewing this tutu. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is we are going to sew the casing for the elastic, for the elastic right here. So we're gonna be sewing the casing. And since these, the tool that we cut comes in two separate pieces, go ahead and separate. So you're gonna have two separate pieces. Here's one side and here's the other. And you're gonna sew, save all these pieces. You're gonna sew all of them together, so. Go ahead and put the extra ones aside and what you're going to do is you're going to take your piece and you're going to fold it, just fold it in half. Oops, sorry. Just like that. You probably can't see very well because this tool is kind of light. But you're just going to fold it in half and make sure the, the open end over here is even all the way down. So just fold it in half and go ahead and slip it into the sewing machine. And you are going to sew, this is the folded end over here, so you're going to sew about an inch inward from the folded edge so that your three-fourths of an inch elastic can fit through the casing. So as you are sewing, I'll do a close-up in a little bit, but as you are sewing you're going to keep lining up this edge over here, make it nice, flat, and even. And so go ahead and do that. So we're going to start sewing. Do a little bit and then you're going to back stitch and then go ahead and do a little bit more and you just keep sewing until you get to the end and I'll show you how to sew like if you have several several different pieces and you want to make one tutu I'll show you how to to bring all those pieces together to make one tutu Once you get to the end, we're going to stop right near the edge. And now we're going to take our next piece and do the same thing. Go ahead and fold it in half. Sorry. And also make sure the edges just are even with each other. And then what you're first going to do is you're going to do the same up with an inch from the edge, the folding it up, line it up like the other one. You're just going to line it this way, like make sure that it's touching the edge, and then you're just going to continue sewing. And then keep just like that. And keep going down, keep making edges, and also keep making sure that your edges are even. And I also have pieces as well, separate and then along but these pieces, the same as all that I'm going to sew and attach. All the pieces are going to this, just did right now. Um, I'll go ahead and do all the B and then together. See right now, so go get finished that and the elastic case. And I'm going casing. So I'm just showing you a little bit of a close up. So, oh, sorry, it moved. Um, you, most sewing machines come with like lines here and usually has measurements. This one is the one inch mark right here. So I like that because then you can always keep it lined up. There's a line that goes this way like this. So you can always keep this edge lined up with that line. That way you don't have to worry about being all like zigzaggy, wobbly, and you know, 
wavy lines and stuff like that. It's always a nice straight um, line. So just continue sewing straight. Make sure it always stays on that line. And just keep going until you get to the end of the tutu. Okay, so I finished sewing the casing all the way down from one end to the other. And now we're going to sew the ribbon on the end. So whatever ribbon you are using, let's go ahead and sew it on. So the first thing you're going to do is obviously heat seal your end. Did I mention? I don't think I mentioned lighter, but yes. You're going to need a lighter as well. So go ahead and heat seal the end. Just run the flame along the edge and it gives it like a a seal so that way it doesn't unravel. And you're going to place this into the sewing machine. Let me show you. Okay, so just place it right there, right on the edge, in the middle, into the sewing machine, and then just unravel this quite a bit so that way you have a lot to work with. And then, oops, sorry, wrong way. And then you're going to, for this, you can hold it whichever way, but um, in my case I'm going to have it, I'm going to start on, on a cer certain side. So I'm going to have the casing over on my right side and then the end that opens up over on my left side. So go ahead and just open it up like a book, mm -hmm. just like that, with the casing at the bottom. So, And then you're just going to place the end, the edge of the tutu tool down here right there with the ribbon and let me show you what it looks like how you're gonna line it up okay so let me just sew a little bit just so that it holds it in place okay so what you're gonna do is you're just going to what I have is that I have placed the tool all the way across it the end of the tool ends at the edge of the ribbon over here so you're just gonna sew directly down the middle all the way down and then just make sure you keep the tool nice and flat um, on the ribbon and then just keep sewing but I'm going to backstitch and then just sew all the way down and then just make sure the tool stays nice and flat Make sure it stays even, like make sure the edge of the tool stays even with the edge of the ribbon on this side. And let's say you accidentally do, like say the tool goes over a little bit like this, it's not that big of a deal. You can always trim up, um, you can always trim up the excess tool that sticks out on the edge if you need to. So just go ahead and just go ahead and do this till you get to the end. Actually, I'll show you once I get to one of the edge pieces, like right here. Hold on, let me zoom out. Like right here, we sewed sewn the two separate pieces together. So we can see the two separate pieces. So I'll show you once we get to the edge of this one how to continue it with the next piece of tool. But yeah, they're sewn together, just two separate pieces of tool. Okay, so I'm getting to the end of the tool on this first piece, and since there's obviously more pieces, um, well, you can't really see, so there's, there's, there's more, just sew it right there. You're going to do the same thing. Open it up like a book with the casing, with the casing here at the bottom, just open it up like a book, and then just add the next edge of the tool right there alongside the first, and then just continue sewing. doing the same thing. So directly down the middle until you get to the end and make sure the tool stays even also. Okay, so I finished this side. <coughs> Excuse me. So now we're going to start sewing the other side. So go ahead, heat seal your ribbon again, do the same thing, put it in the sewing machine the way you had it before. Let out some ribbon. Okay. Now, I have it laid the way it was before, opened up like a book. 
So let me see if I can put this aside. There. So you have it open up like a book. The casing for the elastic is on the bottom. And so now what we're going to do is we're just going to take this end that doesn't have ribbon on it and fold it over like this. And that is how we're going to sew the ribbon on this time. So basically open up the book again as if it's face down. And then the ribbon that you just sewn over here should be face up. Um, and then the casing should be here on top. And you're just going to go ahead and place the tool into the machine this way. And just go ahead and sew, and then and you're just gonna do the same thing. Sew the tool onto the ribbon, just like you were doing before. Okay. Now that I think I have enough, so that way now let me just take off this extra string when um the tutu is finished, the ribbon is both going to be facing the same direction. So just go ahead and just keep sewing until you get all the way to the very end again. Okay, so I just finished sewing on both sides, so now we have two layers of tulle and ribbon. So we're going to put this piece aside for a minute, just gather up all 10, or I think this is 12, 12 yards, yeah, this is 12 yards, of tool, and, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, and now we're going to get our elastic, so, and since this is 12 months, it's, I'll put the sizes of the waist right here on the screen, but since this one, this one is 12 months, it's usually 16 inches, but I, us I usually take an inch off, so I'm going to do 15 inches, just so it can give it a little bit of a snug fit, so that way it's not just like loose on the child. So I cut 15 inches and now we're going to use our safety pin and our alligator clip. So what we are going to do, let me move this clutter out of the way. Okay, so now we are just going to slip the safety pin in right here on the end. Just like that. And this is what we're going to use to put it through the elastic casing on the tutu. So now let me find an end. Okay. So here is the end, one of the ends of the tutu. So you're just going to get your safety pin and you're just going to slip it in the opening of the casing and you are just going to push up as much tool onto the safety pin as you can and then just slide it onto the elastic. But at the beginning don't go too far. Hold on, I'm just trying to... Okay, so at the beginning, don't let it go off the edge over here. So what I usually like to do, this is where the alligator clip comes in. Okay guys, so I don't know where it left off. My camera ran out of memory, so I had to put it um, in the computer. So anyway, um, once it gets to the end here, don't let it go over the edge. What I usually do with the alligator clip or safety pins, um, I usually just fold this piece over and use the clip to clip it or you can use a safety pin to pin it. Quiet Bubba, can you open the door baby? And then you are free to add all the tool to the elastic. So just keep pushing it onto the safety pin and then pulling it onto the elastic until you get to the very end of the tutu and all of the tool is on the elastic. So, just keep going, and then I guess I'll come back once I'm done. And I usually like to shake it a little bit just to kind of like, flat, to let it flatten out since it's all bunched up. And so I guess I'll come back once it's all on the tutu. Okay, so now all the tool is on the elastic, so what you're going to do is just don't let the the tool slide off the ends of the elastic. So now we're just going to sew the ends together. You can run it through the sewing machine, but I like to hand sew it because it's just easier because otherwise it ends up getting caught, like the tool gets caught in the sewing machine and then, yeah, it's not fun. So, but make sure none of this here is twisted, like none of the elastic is like twisted and make sure it's like nice and flat 
And then you're just going to take your needle and embroidery floss and then just sew it um, together. So I, I usually like to overlap it like about half an inch or so. And then I just go ahead and I sew the whole thing together. And this always gets stuck. Sorry, this thing's always getting stuck back here. I like to take it out so that it doesn't continue to get all stuck. And then once you have everything sewn the way you want it, I usually take the needle out so that way I don't drop it somewhere and I put it off to the side and then I just go ahead and I just tie this off like in a triple knot, triple or more or whatever you guys choose. I usually like to tie it like at least three or four times. Okay. So then you just get your scissors, which I misplaced, and just cut off. Sorry guys. There. And then put that aside. Okay. So now we are going to cover this up with, I usually use like the same color <laughs> thread or I use white. Um, but in this case I didn't have pink or white, which I need to go buy some right now. But the tool usually covers it up. Um, so you can't see it anyway. So you just get the tool and you just kind of go around and, and even it all out so it's not all bunched up in places. And there you go. Let me see. Get it all even out. Like right here it's just all bunched up so I don't want to have gaps anywhere. So. There you go. And now I'm going to um, sew the two, the the bow onto the. I'm going to sew a bow onto the the. Oh my gosh, <laughs> the waistband. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to sew the bow. It just did like a typical knot bow. I just tied a bow, uh, which is what I usually do for these for this particular tutu. So I'm just going to sew it. Wherever the, um, wherever the, no Bubba's, get down, get down, don't touch. Oh no! Okay, so this is the back. So wherever you guys sewed up the elastic, that's going to be the back. And then obviously up here is the front. Um, I need to fix all the, the loops and everything, I need to straighten them out, but I usually do that once I put it on the mannequin, so you guys will see that later. So anyway, what I usually do is I usually take the needle and I push it through the elastic. Oops, that's a little too high push it through the elastic from the back like this and then I leave you know a few inches of string hanging back here although I do tie a knot just in case I pull too hard um, I do tie a knot back here so that way it doesn't slide all the way through and then here's the bow so I flip it over like this whoops sorry so I flip it over like this and then I just run the needle through the back of this bow Oops. just like that and then I go back maybe about mm, half an inch or so away from where you guys came in the first time and then I just push it back through to the back and then I take my needle and I put it away because I have dropped it a few times and I have lost it so and then you just take these two strings here in the back and pull make sure the string the string is not like wrapped around any loops or anything like that so just kind of tug it comfortably tug it so that it's pressed up against the waistband and then you're just going to tie it off back here. And I usually again like to use string that matches the tutu but for the tutorial. Okay. Cut off the excess and then 
the bow is sewn on. So now I like to uh, trim off the extra ribbon and I usually like to measure it for it to go all the way to about the end of the tutu and then I just cut at an angle just like that and same with the other side I usually cut at an angle just like that and then I of course I get my um oh, there's like blue strings everywhere get my lighter and then I heat seal the ends so that they don't fray. And then there you go. So let me go put this on the mannequin so you guys can see what it looks like. All fancied up. But this is a super cute little Minnie Mouse tutu. Okay, so it's finished. Let me show you the bottom just so you, can see, you guys can see how full and fluffy it is. It is blowing super hard. Um, so yeah, it's really cute, easy, simple, Minnie Mouse themed ribbon trim tutu. Um, you know, leave a comment or whatever below. You guys can go like my Facebook fan page, and I'll see you guys for the next tutorial.